plaintiff, Melanie Narot, says she's been obsessed with monkeys since she was a child. And now, she's a certified breeder of marmoset monkeys. Melanie claims she agreed to sell four monkeys to the defendant. But after talking for some time, the defendant backed out of the deal. So she's suing. Defendant Courtney Panetta owns an exotic animal business, and she takes a variety of animals around to schools and libraries to teach children about endangered species. Courtney admits that she agreed to purchase monkeys from Melanie, but says she backed out after Melanie tried to deceive her. She's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Well, Your Honor, for the last 15 years, I have been studying and caring for primates. It's been a passion of mine since I was four years old. I've been obsessed with monkeys. So as I got older, I decided to become a USDA licensed breeder of marmoset monkeys, and we sell them as pets. There's over 50,000 monkeys in homes in the United States. Helping Hands organization uses capuchin monkeys as service animals to help those who are disabled. And I've had great success with it. How? What do they do? They will help bathe the human, dress the human, feed the human, and some are actually able to do insulin injections. They're very intelligent Whoa. and do wonders. And you all are, how long does it take? to train a monkey to do all that? Many years, uh, okay. probably about 10, 12 years. Wow. They don't talk back. <laughs> oh, yes, they do sometimes. They talk back more than children do. But you don't know what they're saying? Actually, Your do Honor. Do they cook also? No. Well, neither does a lot of other wild <laughs> And when you get older, they care for you. Yes. Won't go to the nightclubs and be right there for you. Yup. <laughs> How much they run? <laughs> it depends what species, actually. It won't be a replacement. You just get some help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it won't replace your spouse. It right. just help your spouse. That's all. Go ahead. Your Honor, good my deal, Jasmine man. is like my daughter. She is a black cap capuchin who is six months old. We watch her show every day, and I think she's got a little bit of a crush on you. She did have a message for you today. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Says Mathis, doesn't muck, he doesn't mucky around. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty special. They are used in homes with people who are paralyzed or people have missing limbs. Very interesting. Didn't know that. Okay, let me get some background from you before we go into the transaction she's suing for. I have bred marmoset monkeys, which are one pound monkeys. They're not the capuchin she's speaking of. They're about this big. They're super, super tiny. Um, we bred them a few years ago. My husband and I got what out of What can they do for you? Just look cute. Use the phone, <laughs> take notes. Some people, they cost more money than what kids do because you can buy diapers for them and dresses and outfits and... Oh, right. <laughs> so anyways, I have a small educational business with exotic animals. I have um, lemurs, uh, cotton top tamarind monkeys, which is just another small monkey. And I go around and I do programs for kids at libraries, schools, birthdays, and they get to see them, touch them, and learn all about them, endangered species and things like that. Plaintiff Melanie Narot agreed to sell four monkeys to the defendant. But she claims after Melanie tried to deceive her, she backed out of the deal. Why are you suing the defendant? I had posted an ad um, for two breeding pairs for sale, and she responded to the ad on June 10th and called me and said she was very interested in them and was going to buy them from me. Um, we have talked a number of times on the phone, sometimes over an hour at a time. We've talked about our children, our husbands, our businesses. I, too, do primary education, so we have that in common. I thought we were kind of developing a friendship over the phone. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to tell anybody. No one's going to say anything. <laughs> but who do you get the most use out of, the monkey or your husband? <laughs> <laughs> My monkeys. See there? All right. And don't y'all tell anybody. Anybody know a husband, don't tell him. <laughs> go ahead. He go to work, pretend like he's doing something. And come home and order you and the monkey around. All right, so what happened? June 10th, you all began discussing the purchase, and then what? Then um, on June 18th, she emailed me saying that she was getting the money from a trust fund and that it would be taking some time. She apologized for the delay and thanked me for my patience. Um, she said it would be about two weeks before she had the full amount of the money for the two pairs. Um, then on June 20th, um, she had called me and told me that they would be picking up the monkeys on July 8th. 
On June 21st, she had asked me for paperwork on the pairs. Now, this is after quite some time talking. She had finally just first asked for any paperwork. And she knew that on that Saturday, that I had a very busy weekend. As we had discussed, I had a family reunion, a wedding, and my stepdaughter's graduation party all in two days. And I explained to her that I would get back to her on Monday to find out exactly what paperwork she wanted and where to send it to. I did, however, send what her What paperwork do you usually give when someone is buying monkeys? Um, basically, you know, USDA paperwork showing that there are pairs. Um, okay, well, you didn't have to find out what she wanted. You just give her what you usually I, give people. But she was asking for other things that I wasn't quite sure because... What the, else? What other things? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Anyways, on that Monday, I had contact. No, what other things was she asking She asked for? for a personal log, and I explained to her, I said, well, anybody can write anything in a log. Don't right. you want something from the USDA? Um, what I mean is, like, she wasn't clear exactly everything that she wanted when we had talked, and I was on the way to the family reunion. That's why I told her. Oh, I the her log, Monday. you said. She was clear about the law. Yeah, I know. We know by law what we have to do as right. sire, buyer and right. seller. So the That's additional thing sense. was the log. Yeah, logs. Anything yeah, else? Uh, pictures of the babies that they've had. Okay, pictures of the monkeys. And I did send that to her. All right. Let me move over to you. Ma'am, what's happening with this? Oh, my God, Your Honor. This monkey business is completely out of control. Um, I have in my records that we first spoke on the 13th from my husband's phone, and then again um, on the 15th, and when she was giving me backgrounds on both monkeys, whereas just one pair was available then. And um, I did ask for paperwork, and it was breeding records. Uh -huh. She said she didn't know what breeding records were. I said, when I had my monkeys, I kept an Excel sheet. It had the date the babies were born, how many were born, when I pulled them, how many survived, all of the history. And she's had these monkeys for a year is what she told me, which, and they had triplets to quadruplets every time. Marmosets have babies every five months. So she should have had at least one to two litters of babies from each of these pairs of monkeys. Mm -hmm. This is a $10,000 purchase. Mm -hmm. So I asked for that. She told me she didn't know what it was. And then I asked for pictures of babies. She sent me the pictures of the babies. Cute little babies. Can you see it, please? Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you look at the bottom picture, it looks very professional. The top picture looks like a home picture. So I started getting curious, and um, since she didn't have breeding records on them, she'd only had them a year. So anyways, I googled marmoset babies for sale on the internet and clicked images. And I found this picture from the Woburn Safari it, Park. From the what? Woburn Safari Park in 2013. Zoom. That is their picture of marmosets that she sent me stating they were her babies. The pictures she sent me were supposed to be a babies that were born at her facility by the monkeys I right. was buying. But that these picture, pictures are the ones that are from the zoo. Yes. Then I Googled some more and I found, it's hard to see the picture, I found this ad that has a picture on that top set of pictures. That is the second picture. That is not her ad on the internet. That is from a very reputable breeder in Newport, Tennessee. And I contacted him and I said, Somebody is emailing me trying to tell me that these monkeys are theirs. Do you, the pictures that you use in your ads, are they your monkeys? And they said yes, and I have his email. You'd like to see it. Those are the babies right. that were supposed to be hers. Right. Those are the pictures I have a problem with. Not. Let's just make it clear, ma'am. She sent me multiple pictures. She sent me a couple of the adults, which were fine. Um, and then she sent me yes. pictures of the babies Those are that yours? I asked Yes, for. I've had babies Let's just see, like please. this, yes. No, 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 not just no, like this. Are those yours? No. This right. is not mine. Plaintiff Melanie Narot agreed to sell four monkeys to the defendant, but she claims after Melanie tried to deceive her, she backed out of the deal. You give me the pictures of the babies you did advertise, ma'am. Why don't we just make this easy? I didn't advertise babies for sale with her, though. They were adults. And you sent her these pictures? Is that what you're Yes, alleging? I don't have the ad that I sent because she slandered me to this website and they took my ad down. So the actual ad that I have of the monkeys that I was selling when you Are you me, all right? It's just very stressful, this woman. What's has stressful? so much stress on me. You weren't crying earlier. <laughs> you were smiling and grinning and... Now, it's when I challenge you, stressful. you start crying. It's been very stressful since I've... Why didn't you start crying when you started, then? Because it's 
confusing to try and explain things and I'm nervous on my TV and everything, so. You all right? I'm good. You smile. <laughs> Did you receive these pictures? Hand them to her. These weren't the ones I saw. Oh I did see pictures of her adult monkeys. Okay, what's your counterclaim for? Um, a thousand dollars emotional distress. This has taken two days out of my time. My time is worth about seventy-five. You're not crying. <laughs> <laughs> get some tears going. I can keep myself calm you when I need to. Get some tears going. <laughs> You got two minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Um, the law is that has, well, you as the plaintiff must prove your case, ma'am, by a preponderance <laughs> of evidence, more likely than not, that you're telling the truth. Neither one of you agree, so I have no idea who's telling the truth about who sent whom, what pictures. As such, you have not proven your case to me. You're, uh, and the deposit you wanted was for how much? Well. She sent me an eight hundred dollar deposit that I lost. How much? Eight hundred plus. Okay, and that's what you received from her. That she canceled the check once it was okay, in my bank. Okay, so you haven't suffered a loss. Yes, and then another seven hundred. What loss did you suffer from her? Um, you not getting the deposit? Did you give her the monkeys? No. Okay, well you haven't suffered a loss, and neither have you. You have your deposit. You have not paid a deposit, correct? Correct. All right, so everybody's case is dismissed and no one has lost any money from this. Have a good day. I didn't pick up Dave to come pick them up. I gave her everything I could. You sent me pictures of monkeys that weren't yours. I sent you so many pictures of my monkeys. Yes, I did. Uh, you those lied you since said in there to the judge one. that you didn't send me those pictures. Your you story, did. Courtney, has changed several times right. in the last month. If you have a question about the difference between a business investment and a business loan, go to my website, askjudgemathis.com.